Well, hello, my friends. It's Brian and Dan. Welcome back to BG Mellow Workshop. We are doing an update on this guy. Yes, let's talk about this guy. Nothing to report. Uh, more, more or less, um, we've been busy with other things, life, all that kind of stuff. You know how it goes. Um, I even have some of my my notes still attached to this about what to watch out for here and there. Um, the kit is, is, the kit is fine. There's, you know, it's had a couple of little issues that go along with having an aged kit, but um, nothing to worry about really. We see we have a little bit of primer on here. We talked about that last time about how we were gooping some primer on there to fill in some scratches. But here's the big news. Um, we have been agonizing over this for a little while and that's not gonna come out very easily. So we'll leave it like that. But we decided to go with the cross wedge. I like that, that looks cool. Soles are carburetor issue because I put these throttle bodies on here from a different kit. And then we added the uh, turned aluminum velocity stacks on there. I think that looks pretty dang sweet. Uh, of course, it'll look cooler when we have the valve covers on there. They are being stripped um, or about to be stripped, I think. Uh, and then uh, something else we did do is we removed the battery holder, which apparently I thought it was a sunken in area, but it turns out it was just actually a lip that had been molded onto there to hold the battery. So once we shaved, once we cut his lips off, uh, it was fine. So we have some primer on there so we can do some more sanding and get that a little bit more smooth. Um, we did smooth out the firewall. I like that so much better than uh, the little traces of wiring and stuff that, that were on there. Those were nicely molded, but I wanted to go for a little bit more of a cleaner look under the hood of the car um, and we <laughs> have it all taped up and it's kind of looking kind of like a pirate right now um, oh also I did not realize this but apparently this area right down here this is supposed to be body color in between the uh, the headlight bezels um, I, I will have to figure out how to remove just that bit of chrome right there or maybe strip the whole thing and come back and redo it uh, you know, give myself even more work to do. Uh, but um, yeah, this is all white glued together here. We haven't soaked this yet. But I, I'm really thinking that the body and the interior are actually ready to go get washed and cleaned and, and prepped for paint. That's something that could actually probably happen today if all, if all goes well. Uh, you know how that goes. Until I get a phone call from the niece. Uh, can you come get me? You know, one of those things. Uh, the big news, other than what's been going on under the hood, is the hood. And we have a gigantic hole cut out in there because we're grafting in this guy. Yes, that's right. And it's not going to sit in there perfectly right now because I still have a little bit of lug, uh, a small lug of styrene up here uh, that I need to file flat. But. We'll give you the gist of the story here by sinking that in there. And I wanted this to, to, to be kind of countersunk down a little bit so it was had a, a lower profile. But what do y'all think? Hmm, I think this looks pretty sweet. It's a little bit bowed because I still have to uh, do a little bit more sanding here and there. And you can see I have primer on there from doing some fill work and stuff. Uh, but uh, let's see, let's get this on here. Yoink, like that. Cool. I mean, doesn't that look cool? You can see the engine in there. The uh, the intakes have plenty of space. Uh, they do sit a little high, but they still have plenty of space in there, uh, even though I lowered this a little bit. And I think I think we're onto something there. I mean, that just looks so cool. And I, I, I'm, I am now, because of doing this, I'm now favoring the idea of doing a blacked out hood, uh, black stripes on the side. I was kind of going back and forth between the white and the black, doing the black on the side and then doing black interior with an old, with the, uh, the mango body. This color right here. So um, I think that's where we're going to go with this. Uh, I, I just love that, that, uh, that scoop on there. I was actually playing with the idea of putting it on here <laughs> reverse like this. I was like, hey, that's actually kind of cool too. But um, I think I think we might get notes. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be cool with that with that on there. I've got plenty of room for the uh, for the wedge uh, intake manifold, which the kit comes with. So I thought, sweet. Okay, cool. And then we used um, the throttle bodies from another kit. Another, it's a Ravel kit and I cannot think of what it is. It's a, it's a Dart. I think it's a 69 Dart. 
and um, so we used that and th that's actually where I got the scoop from as a matter of fact was that dart kit so I thought okay well the throttle bodies lower profile lowers down the tops of these guys uh, didn't like it in line because you remember it looked like it was too far apart we had suggestions about possibly rotating the carbs because they're going this way rotating the carbs there's not enough room the way those carbs are made uh, they're just too long they're, they wouldn't fit on top of that plenum so it was the best thing to do was to either go with the air cleaners that the kit supplied which were okay but I wanted to have a little bit more of a signature piece going on here so um, I kind of went the Fred Henry route and cut open the and put in a, a nice little uh, nice little air scoop on there and uh, we're gonna go from there so uh, also we've been kind of tinkering around with this here a little bit and been noticing it threatens to come out but it doesn't it's like a cat there we go um, that up inside take off your underpinnings there darling there we go up inside there's these little hockey pucks right there okay and um this the shoulder right here needs to sit in front of those that's what this little carve out seems to be for so if we do this we smash this all back together again like a cheeseburger on a grill mmm boy I'm hungry uh, so yeah we can squish that down there like that 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 sits nice and level in the back there okay and then we put the hood on and that actually sits pretty dang level now just just a touch just a touch low right there and we can fill that in with some styrene like you guys have been suggesting so I think we're gonna be all good all goods in the hood so we're going to try focusing on this we know the deadline is tomorrow no we're not going to make the deadline uh, i i'm sure our, our buddy dale is going to be cool about that because he knows we're going to keep working on this and we're going to do this kit justice and that's why we're taking our time so uh we've kind of changed our build philosophy a little bit i used to be mr group build i used to joke about bg stands for big group build or something like that but um it, it was always it was always in fun so i didn't you know i didn't mind it was always funny to me but the thing is um nowadays i'm getting more and more into we talked about this on the model car guys videos getting more and more into actually building something that's more of a a showstopper than um than something than a shelf filler so that's why I'm kind of stalled on my 32 because I want that to be the best possible representation I can do at this particular time. Same thing with this uh, cornet here. So uh, yeah, we want to do the best possible representation we can do with uh, at, at my particular build level. So we can compare a little bit later on when we get even better about compare back to this and be like, wow, you sure had some stuff to learn there, buddy. <laughs> so you all know how it goes. All right, we're going to go ahead and sign off, and we'll talk to you a little bit later on. I don't know when, because next week we are going out of town and uh, having a little vacation for Mrs. B, Mrs. BG and I. Not model-related at all. No shows, nothing like that. No stores we're going to be traveling to. But if you guys are really interested, I'm sure when we come back, she'd be very happy to do a yarn stash update for you all. I know that that's definitely something I want to sit through. <laughs> So we'll talk to y'all a little bit later on. Y'all have a great weekend and take it easy. Bye now.